Hi, this is Bob Danielle with Next Level for Success. You know, I want to share with you a couple of principles that I have found that have changed the lives of hundreds and thousands of people around the world. And how I know that's ha happened is because it's changed my life. The principles that, um, that really I've come to grips with over the last 25 years, almost 30 really, of studying human behavior, studying people like professional athletes, celebrities, people who are on the stage and rock stadiums and, you know, people who are on the movies and in television and, you know, people who have been on Skid Row and have fallen on hard times, people who have, well, struggling with drug addictions and phobias, people who are living under bridges, people who are, well, from Wall Street to Skid Row. And, you know, the one thing I've learned is that if I understand human behavior, I can help anyone regardless of their background, regardless of their education, regardless of the way they were raised, I can help anyone. And so I'm going to share these tips with you today, these, these strategies, if you will, that I've really researched and, and studied over 25 years and that I've shared with thousands of people around the world. And I know that these are principles that will work if you will work them. They're principles that I know and I believe at the very core of my being that will help you discover and create massive breakthrough in your life once you understand them. And the first one that I want to share with you is the principle of what I call acceptability. Whatever becomes acceptable becomes inevitable. Let me say that again. Whatever becomes acceptable becomes inevitable. The reason that's so important to understand is because it's for the good or the bad. Whatever becomes acceptable becomes inevitable, whether good or bad. Let me, let me give you an illustration. Quite often I'll be asked by somebody to help them create a massive breakthrough for themselves, maybe in health or fitness or relationship or business or finances, whatever it is for them. And one of the first questions I ask them is, well, how long has it been acceptable to be the way you are? For example, I was talking to a lady not too long ago, and she said, Bob, I have a problem with gaining weight. I, I gain weight and then I lose it and then I gain it back again. And I said, well, let me ask you a question. How long has it been acceptable to you to be overweight? She went, what? well, never. It's never been acceptable, Bob. You don't understand. It's never been acceptable. And I said, well, I, I, I disagree. And let me take you back to a moment when it probably became the most acceptable. She said, what's that? I said, do you remember a time when you, you went to put on that pair of pants or that dress and it didn't fit? and it was uncomfortable to button it. And so what did you do? Did you go out and buy another pair of pants? Did you go out and buy a bigger pair of pants? Did you go out and buy a bigger dress? She says, yes. And I said, that was the moment it became acceptable. And as soon as it became acceptable, it became inevitable. And I'll guarantee you that you didn't just stop there, that you probably increased your weight a little bit more and a little bit more until such a point that it just became intolerable for you. She said, yeah, you're right. I said, see, one thing I know about human behavior is if we make that acceptable, then it's going to become inevitable. And so let me share something that uh, a mentor of mine, Tony Robbins, says. He says, when the pain of staying the same is greater than the pain of change, you will change. But when the pain or the perception of pain appears to be more for changing, then you will stay the same. So this lady said, well, Bob, what was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to wear those pants even though they're so tight? I said, absolutely, wear the pants. They're so tight, they're so uncomfortable. She says, but Bob, what if they would have ripped? I said, even better. Here's why, because I know that once you create so much pain for yourself and you're massively, decisively in pain, you will make the change to get out of it. So I said, wear the pants a little bit too tight and the tighter the better. And if you tear the seats out of them, that's even better. Because what will happen is you will run out of pants to be able to change, and therefore you will begin to start eating right. You'll begin to exercise. You'll begin to start taking care of your body even better. And I said, once it becomes acceptable, it becomes inevitable, good or bad. Now, I also have a lot of people that say, Bob, you know, I want to make more money. Bob, I want to create a business of my own. Bob, I want to have more passion and vibrant relationships. And I always say that, well, when it becomes acceptable, it will become inevitable. Well, what do you mean, Bob? Well, there was probably a time that you stopped making money because you had as a goal $3,000 a month because that's what it was going to take to cover your bill. And so you made, how much did you make? 
I bet it was about $3,000 a month. Why? Because that's what was acceptable. And then there's the, that overall writing factor that a good friend of mine, DC Cordova, calls the deservability factor. When did you decide that you didn't deserve to make more than $3,000? See, again, when you decided at that point that $3,000 was acceptable, well, if you didn't feel like you could make more or deserved more than that, then you probably never did. You know, we've all heard the statement, money is the root of all evil. Well, that's not really quite right. Actually, the scripture says the love of money is the root of all evil. So. You know, even that, we, we, we transform and we, we create this paradigm. And it's created by our churches, it's created by our leaders, it's created by our family members, whatever it is, wherever we develop that belief. But if we hold on to that belief, it will limit us. It will hold us down from creating the life that we've always wanted to, financially or health. You know, there's people that I, that I work with that, that they say, you know, Bob, I, I started gaining weight when I was in like seventh and eighth grade. And I go, why? I said, well... Because I noticed boys were looking at me. And I noticed even grown men were looking at me. And I said, well, how did that make you feel? Oh, I felt so uncomfortable. So in that case, what happened? It became acceptable to be overweight because what it did was provided a benefit that people wouldn't look at them. And you know, maybe that's a pattern that you've created for yourself. But let's reverse and change that pattern even today and understand that whatever becomes acceptable Having that person look at you with absolute love and a passion and adoring, having that person look at you and be absolutely in love with you and, and think that you're absolutely beautiful, having the amount of money that you really want and need and desire rather than just the amount that you've got to have to just get by. What about the, the opportunity to, to give back? I mean, what about the opportunity, maybe you have a charity you know, maybe my mom died of cancer, so maybe I want to give a lot of money to charity. Well, that requires that I make a lot of money. But if I have this deservability and this acceptability factor weighing me down and stopping me from making the money, well, not only do I not have enough money to do the things that I want to do and be the places I want to be, well, it also stops me from contributing to the charities that I want to contribute to. And so maybe your, your goal right now is to just create more income so that you can give money away. And congratulations if that's it. Right now, let me just encourage you to really weigh and weigh heavily on this principle. This is principle number one, and it's whatever becomes acceptable becomes inevitable. Write it down. Put it on a three-by-five card and carry it with you every day of this week. Now, what I find most people say is, Bob, I don't need to write it down. I mean, it's etched into my brain, and Bob, everywhere I go, everything I do, all of a sudden I hear Bob's voice saying, whatever is acceptable becomes inevitable. Well, I hope that's for you because I hope that you'll take that to heart and I hope that you'll really weigh heavily on that when you go to make another decision. When you go to make a decision about your health or your wealth or your relationship or your business or even your spiritual connection, that you'll weigh heavily on when did it become acceptable to not have this vibrant relationship with, with my creator? When did it become acceptable to not have a vibrant and loving, passionate relationship with a person of the opposite sex or whoever you have in your life? When did it become acceptable to have less than what you truly deserve and less than what God has designed and, and destined and, and desires for you? When did it become acceptable? Because at that moment, it became inevitable. And so all we have to do is change it. And then it becomes acceptable for us to have the passionate and loving relationship. When it becomes acceptable for us to make even more money. When it becomes acceptable to have a vibrant relationship with our Creator. When it becomes acceptable for us to give money away to charities and to help and support people. When it becomes acceptable for us to have the bodies that we've always desired. The bodies that we know we need to have so that we can be healthy and, and, and full of life and energy and create and, and, and give back to the world just a portion of what we receive. So whatever becomes acceptable becomes inevitable. Enjoy your next level.